The scariest prospect of cancer is the uncertainty surrounding the disease. The uncertainty of whether you even have cancer and whether that cancer has progressed. The uncertainty of whether it can be fully treated and whether it will ever return. Every step in the hospital, from diagnosis to treatment, seeks to combat this uncertainty, but it is a truly difficult struggle. Most solid cancers are treated with surgery, during which tumors should be fully removed. But as many as 40% of surgeries end with some cancerous tissue left behind. Doctors are very good at detecting these situations and planning corrective regimens, but patients must live with yet more uncertainty caused by these follow-up treatments. Surgeons begin an operation backed by years, if not decades, of experience, but they have access to surprisingly little information as the surgery progresses. The human eye, one of the few tools that surgeons trust when identifying the subtle differences between tissues in the operating room, only perceives three primary colors, red, green, and blue. But there's so much more information that can be utilized. The mantis shrimp, a striking little critter that thrives in the tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, can perceive upwards of 12 primary colors, providing unprecedented sensitivity to different shades and hues. This disparity in visual ability can be traced back to the survival of the fittest. The human, an apex predator, has relatively simple eyes, consisting of a single layer of light-sensitive cells, while the mantis shrimp, preyed upon by far stronger creatures, has incredible compound eyes, consisting of as many as three layers of light-sensitive cells. As an engineer, the mantis shrimp's compound eye is quite compelling because it captures rich contextual information and it does so in a very elegant manner. This makes me wonder, would a surgeon benefit from having not a human's perspective of the surgery, but a mantis shrimp's? Our research group, led by Dr. Victor Gurev, sought to answer this question. We wanted to capture the visible light that a surgeon would see looking at the patient, but we also wanted to capture the invisible near-infrared light that could delineate the locations of cancerous tissue. So we integrated image sensors that mimic the mantis shrimp's compound eye and optical filters that can separate the visible from the invisible, and we built a camera sensitive to six colors of light spanning the visible and near infrared. Turning to our collaborators here at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, we explored the benefits posed by our technology. First in test tubes and then in prostate tumors, we showed that our imaging system could distinguish cancerous tissue from healthy tissue with greater accuracy than the systems being used in hospitals. Working then with surgeons at Saints Cyril and Methodius University in the Republic of North Macedonia, we took our technology into the operating room. In patients with breast cancer, we demonstrated that our imaging system could detect sentinel lymph nodes, tissues that aren't cancerous by themselves but can harbor microscopic cancer cells. These tasks, the detection of tumors and of sentinel lymph nodes, are key to curing cancer and preventing recurrence. The natural world has benefited from a 500 million year head start on the types of visual systems that head off life and death situations. So it seems just a little presumptuous to assume that we humans working alone can solve those same types of problems. By seeking a second opinion from the mantis shrimp then, we hope that we can offer patients a little more certainty in their times of need.